Hello, my name is Dr. James Young. I'm a port identifier with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in Baltimore, Maryland. In this presentation, I'll talk about the Microlepidoptera larvae of agricultural concern and talk generally about their feeding groups and how it affects how we find things. First off, a little bit about the diversity. This is a breakdown of the diversity of Lepidoptera by superfamily. There's approximately 156,000 species of moths, of which about 36,000 are micros. The pests that we intercept and we are concerned the most about are listed here. Note that Limacodids are listed on this list. They are not truly Microlepidoptera. However, through ports of entry, we only find them as first or second instars, and they're commonly intercepted as Microleps. The first group include both the Taneidae and the Psychidae. Uh, they have various feeding groups. The Taneids are mostly stored products and fungi. They do create bags. And just a reminder, if there is a lep that has a bag or small case, please submit that. They are often taxonomically significant. The Psychidae also make bags. Uh, they are small. They are mostly plant feeding. A few do feed on lichens and algae, uh, but they are rarely intercepted through the ports. Gracial Lurids are intercepted occasionally. These are leaf miners. The mine itself is often di diagnostic. So also, please submit the leaves with the mines when possible. They have an unusual shape to the body. The head is very flat. As you can see here, the mouth parts have been modified forward into this spatulate scraping structure that's used to help it feed. In the Yopono mutoidea, there are several families that are intercepted. Most commonly, Plutelidae, Yopono mutidae, and Praeidae. Note in some of the older literature, members of what is now recognized as Praeidae are included in Yopono mutidae. This group includes leaf miners, tent makers, and leaf feeding, and the larvae are highly variable. Many of them have dark CD that are very evident, but this is not always the case. Gilicoidea is a rather large superfamily. It has many family that are intercepted, but several of them are rarely seen. The ones of concern to AQI work are blastobacids, elasticistids, cosmopterigids, and of course gilicoids themselves. These other families are rarely intercepted, but do include important plant pests. They include leaf feeders, stem borers, bud miners, fruit boring, bulb feeding, and detritophores and fungivores. The larvae are highly variable. Many of them are very plain in coloration. Some have well-defined pinacula, and others can even have stripes and have various colors. Structures on the head and the mouth parts are commonly used to identify these groups. Uh, so please be careful with the specimens. They are rather small. I'll talk about Gilicheids, uh in particular because they are intercepted so frequently. Many of them include anal forks, but not all. This includes many uh, agriculturally significant groups that are leaf feeding and stem boring. There are also several fruit boring species that are intercepted. Pterophorids are highly diverse as caterpillars. They can range from being very hairy, like this in this top photo, to having virtually no noticeable CD. They fall out in the keys in various locations, and they are hard to identify at best. Most of them, if they are not overly hairy, will have a well-textured cuticle that can be seen under high magnification. And again, these are mostly leaf feeders. The last group are the carpal synods. These are bud feeders, fruit feeders, and step feeding. And by stem feeding, in this case, we meet actually underneath the bark of trees. Uh, it has that important feature where there are four seedy in the SV group on the prolegs. They are most commonly confused with pyralids. And lastly, tortricity. This is another group that has an anal fork. So if you find a larvae with an anal fork, you've narrowed it down to one of two families. It includes many leaf feeding, stem boring and bud mining, and fruit boring pests that are commonly intercepted. Here are some of the common references that you can use to identify these and go for more information. Thank you.